just a simple Omni Isaac Turing Generator. Okay, so I think it's this one. Okay, so you see, um, so on click get terrain. Or is that so? It's getting the get terrain. Remember the get terrain we have on the A1 or mm -hmm. animal terrain. It's, it's getting terrain with just characteristics, and then it gets from let me see stage springs terrain we choose. Let's get it from here. So, terrain we choose. This is a bunch of functions that make the terrain as you see pyramid, slope, and random, and discrete, and wave, and stairs. They all eight different terrains. Mm -hmm. It has a few functions to to just calculate high fields and other things to do trigonometry. But the the idea on the original thing on the on the terrains for the train the robot is that you would pick these functions and create a logic to I don't know you put a bunch of these stairs together and you make like a, a pyramid a slope. I don't know you just you just got attaching it together in certain order. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can find an example. You have to place this uh repository somewhere in the basic sim I was reading. Where do we put that? No, same thing you did on the OIG. It's just you have to put together on the same folder and do the correct pathing. So let's say we we'll go to A1 terrain like you were trying to make. Right? So on this get terrain, you see what's doing? Is this mm -hmm. creating a terrain? Um, it has some logic here that just put them together in grids. Um, and there is like a, somewhere on the code, there's some grids where they say, ah, this area of the map is going to be a bunch of curved terrain, going to be a bunch of Gs, or going to be a bunch of, of these pyramids. Yeah, like the ratios of which each terrain type. Yeah, they they separate the bigger map in 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 grids of G's, and then it's like a bunch of square, and then they just attach them together. Okay. And then they make the whole terrain. Why they do this? Because this is just a single mesh. A mesh is like look here, like you, it's not even a kilobyte, not even zero kilobytes. Are you are you still sharing your? Uh... VS Code, are you? Oh, oh yeah, I'm sharing the VS Code. I'm sorry. Let me screen sharing. You share. See this? It's not even a kilobyte. Zero point zero zero kilobytes. Wow. So then you can make like I don't know something that's like ten thousand kilometers long mm -hmm. and wide, and and don't even gonna like, occupy kilobyte. And the other advantage is the physics. Here, I modify it to just play with different physics. This case is an SDF mesh. SDFs are better. Cause, go, view, physics, join, collider, selected. You see how it's better? It, it wraps around. It's accurate. Mm -hmm. It's more okay. accurate. And then you can also, because it's generated a terrain with different types of of, of just part segments and grids, you could say, ah, on, on a part of the terrain, on a, I want to make this terrain here with a uh, higher resolution. On the other part, on a, because it has just stairs, I don't need a, a thousand resolution. That's the advantage. The other adventure of SDF meshes is that you can use warp. You see how this is bad? This is bad. See, it's not wrapping correctly. But then if mm -hmm. you go here, 
and I go 1000 and my computer doesn't crash. Hang on, I'm gonna make it work. One, two. I'm a computer. So no, my house is getting warm. <laughs> You're cooking. With uh, if, you, if you use SDF meshes, you can use uh, from a Hopefully your computer doesn't crash. Formable terrain. So the formal terrain is that you could study I think you're cutting out Raymond. Can you still hear me? Well terrain things you can make a yes. It's Oh gosh! There okay. you go. There yeah, you go. No, you. no, it's back. There you go. Yeah. Okay. a little. See how I improve a thousand resolution. Make this rain okay. much better. See, it just wraps. And now it wraps this one here too. See, it just I just curve one. The stairs got better. It isn't different for the stairs itself, but it's very. It was worth it for these crazy ones. So that's 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 why you wanna you wanna do this particular way with the Python code because like you can make a mesh that's lightweight and you can apply SDF and and warp warp on SDF because warp can work on the voxels and then you can create a Python equation in warp to make a terrain that's mathematically accurate to its real counterpart, like clay or sand. Wow. And is that uh, currently a, a thing that you have working in the train generator or if we... No, I'm not working on that right now because like, um, as you saw, hyperparameter tuning and all those other things, it's slow, hard and time consuming. Mm -hmm. So I'm working right now on putting the entire stack on the cloud, hopefully everything in Kubernetes, when time comes for nuclear should be on Kubernetes. And then I'm gonna be able to apply machine learning tools, like using ML ops, the companies used to train those large language models among other fancy models mm -hmm. into G. So then you can actually train like you're doing, but at scale, I could train 1,000 different, like the same model, but with different hyperparameters, and then the model just go to an entry, finds the best one, or among other things. That would be awesome. Yeah, it's cool. pretty simple. Uh, you have a question about the extension itself? Um. So like from, let's say, I uh, clone this to my computer. Um, do I just start Isaac Sim up and then from there uh, attach to the extension? Or how do how Yes, do so do it? if it's not on the store, the code of the extension that's there on the GitHub, you're going to put, you're going to go here, extensions. If it's not here, you have to, add an extension manually. So I think uh, you you probably go here, add, and then you put the path of the extension folder that you just sold from GitHub. Oh, okay. That makes sense. And it should appear here on third party as user extensions. Or you can also you could make an extension here and delete just the thing you have to delete. Like you just delete the hello world stuff and just put my stuff on. Okay. Have have options. But oh. yeah, it's straightforward. It gives a head start. 
it's not great, has bugs, but at least now you figure out how to import stuff. The next step is to pick something like we have the brick stone house demo, right? With lots and lots of different meshes. So how we use Python to read those meshes and convert just what we need because we don't need everything. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to train. Okay, like the you material have, properties. You 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 don't need everything. You you would want to read like um those things they get from Revit, like um, the the things that the matter, mm -hmm. and convert to something like this that has the mesh. And hopefully an SDF just convert that to something is useful. Right. Like this is just two gigabytes, nothing. But that Bristol house can can want, want you're gonna need like a lot of GPU power just to render the scene. You're gonna need like I don't know forty gigabytes, and then to import the robots, you're gonna need another twelve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's probably something with like the lighting and. Uh, yeah, lining, cameras, you don't need everything. Don't need visuals, don't need colors, don't need materials. You only need a mesh with an accurate collision. Yeah, that's interesting. Cool. Well, um, yeah. I guess I'll give it a shot. Um, I'll let you know how it goes. Is there anything else I need to know for the, like, to get running? I just... To start a uh, extension, you can just open up the extension tab, kind of like the Isaac examples, I assume. You go to window, extensions, mm -hmm. you're gonna open extension, and then you're gonna go, you either create a new extension and copy the code from the GitHub, just, just the extension thing. Mm -hmm. Or you go to here on, on this extension paths. Oh, you should, the gear should appear this, and then you have the path. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to add the path to the extension path where you have on your computer, the user directory, and it should work too. Either way, it works. Let me show the code where is the. Mm. Or they put in a store, but I don't think they put in a store. Awesome. Yeah, they did you know, they just ah, did you not put my well where is the share this one? Okay, look how beautiful, simple it is. Usually the extensions is standard stuff. So you're gonna be inside extensions. I'm gonna be just this folder here. And one of the stuff inside here, that's the extension. Okay. So from everything, extensions here, 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 just this part here is actually the, the extension. This is not the extension. This is the name of the folder terrain generator. And another folder. And another folder. It's just boilerplate. Everything else is a boilerplate. Okay. Straightforward. All right. Does that help? Yeah, cool. I'll give it a shot. Um, is just you working 